Well, depending on how you look at it, the next vice president of the United States was in town today because both major party candidates paid a pre-election day visit to La Crosse. And News 19's Dustin Lukey covered the visit from the Democratic nominee, Governor Tim Walz. And Dustin, it sounded like he focused heavily on the economy. And that's not a surprise, Heather, given it's been the top issue in Marquette Law School polling this whole campaign. In the 15-minute speech, Governor Walz doubled down on his ticket's pledges no tax hikes for anyone making more than 400 or may, for more than making less than, excuse me, $400,000 a year, a $25,000 payment assistance for first time home buyers and a $50,000 tax credit for small business startups up from 5,000 currently. Now, the governor also explained why the Harris Walls campaign is focused on this idea of cracking down on price gouging at grocery stores. I was with a farmer up in Erie, Pennsylvania a couple days ago and I said, so when when fruit prices were cheaper, what were you getting for uh, a bushel of corn? And they'd say, oh, about 410 a bushel. And I said, now that food prices are up, what are you getting for a bushel of corn? Oh, about 410. That's not where they're taking it. That's not where the money's going to their farmers. What we know is, is you're paying more for that. They're not getting any more for it. But the phenomenon we've seen is corporate profits are at an all-time high. Governor Walls touched on other key issues, including abortion access and gun rights, noting that both he and Vice President Harris are gun owners themselves. A mental health also came up, however, in a private conversation before the speech. One of the people I had a chance to speak with today, Cody Green, is a mental health influencer with millions of followers on social media, and he had a chance to talk one on one with the governor about what that support would look like in a Harris Walls administration. Now, this was his takeaway. I was just shocked with how much he cared about my story and my journey and uh, he, he really wanted to get across how much the Harris administration wants to promote health care, mental health care, access and resources. And you'll be able to see Green's one on one with Governor Walls today on all his social media channels. And I also talked with him uh, asking him, what does he recommend for managing the stress that comes with this election cycle? Now, he told me while it's an important election, of course, and to make sure you're still advocating for what you believe in, we all need to take the time to breathe, as he put it, advocate for ourselves so we can then advocate for our cause. Heather? Yeah, I think we all need that. Great advice. Yeah. Thank you, Dustin. Governor Walls also made a stop in Stevens Point before heading to Milwaukee and Detroit tonight.